Almost got it, almost got it. Uh, hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're gonna be doing some packages here. Um, I have these three from before. I still have a lot of packages, but I got a new one in here today from the post office, and I'm not taking any risk by touching this. So we are keeping it to a minimum here. I'm gonna put that off to the side for now. Um, I have some safety precautions to get inside of that one later, but I'm gonna be able to get these three first, and then we'll get into that one, because that stuff inside of there is pretty exciting. But anyways, guys, let's get started. All right, so I have three packages here. This one here is from Amazon. I ordered, uh, this is a little while ago. I ordered one thing from Amazon. I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. Um, this one here, it was the last one I needed for the set, minus the chase, because I, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna like actively try for the chase. If I see it at the store, I'll pick it up, but I wasn't gonna go and like dig around for it or buy it on eBay for a lot more. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I, I'm like 98% sure it's the one that I'm thinking of. It looks like it is. So if you guys know this right here, that's the code that Funko puts on their boxes sometimes if they can't spoil what's inside um, or if you know like Disney says we have to announce it this day that's what they put on the inside to kind of like let people know at the factory anyways I don't know why I'm explaining this but it's kind of cool that they did that I know which one it is so if you guys know what it is it's a cool pop anyway so it's right here is you guys ready warrior barley now this was the Amazon exclusive one there was also another version of barley um, barley lightfoot of just him with a book and he had like his metal um, jacket on with, or like the jean jacket with all the like the metal uh, rock band patches on there so guys here is Warrior Barley right there. This one's actually already on Disney Plus if you guys want to watch this one. Um, I haven't checked it out yet, but I am super excited about it, so I'll probably have to watch it um, maybe today or tomorrow. I don't know, but I actually forgot about the movie and that it was out, so now this one kind of reminded me of it, so maybe I'll watch this one, um, you know, and do something with the Barley Pop, then maybe take a photo for Instagram or something like that. I don't know, but I do really like this figure. It's got some great detail to it. I like the uh, Viking helmet. I actually used to have a Viking helmet that looked exactly like that. Um, it was like a plastic version. I'm sure this one, it would be like more like metal and stuff like that, but still, really awesome. I, I'm glad they did this where they didn't just make them the same sculpt but like something like slightly different. They gave him a whole new look which I think is great and this figure here is now the last one I need for my set minus the unicorn chase. I don't know where the rest of them are. I think they're over there somewhere but I'm not picking up the unicorn chase unless I see it in stores which I'm not going to anymore um, because I wasn't going to seek out for it because it's literally just the horn on the unicorn is a little bit different. I think it's like glitter instead of blue so I'm not looking for that one. If I find it though in stores I'd totally pick it up um, but yeah for as of right now I'm not going to be having it in the collection but I do have the normal unicorn and that pop is pretty cool. All right, next up we have two Funko Shop packages. I don't really know which one to open up first, but I guess we'll just start with the smaller one. I think the second one over there is one of the ad icons that I ordered. So we'll just check out this one here. Uh, this one is, honestly, I have no clue. I order a lot of stuff from the Funko Shop. I try to get um, the ones that I really like because they do sell out sometimes. Um, as of recently, they haven't been selling out as much, but um, it is nice to pick them up right away just to make sure you do get it and that it doesn't sell out later on. Like today's Fun Funko Shop, or was it? yesterday no it's today's today's or yesterday for you guys it was um the pillsbury doughboy easter version where he had like a bag uh where he had like a basket of eggs and stuff like that and he was holding an egg i thought it was pretty cool i have every single pillsbury doughboy and I, I like to try and get every ad icon so i was glad that i got that one okay so oh okay 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 this one here guys is you ready i know it says it on there but i'm gonna open it anyways uh it's steve Irwin with snake so this one here is pretty cool so i was looking into it and apparently in australia if you were to um get this one off of the australian zoo's website it would actually have an australian zoo sticker um and i thought that was really cool it had the shape of australia on there um and then it's at home of the crocodile hunter stuff like that so i thought it was neat um but the same figure went up on the funko shop for people in the u.s so if you wanted this one for a little bit cheaper than trying to ship it from australia you could still get it um through the funko shop which I thought was amazing now i used to watch steve Irwin all the time when i was younger it, I, it was a really great show i also used to watch like Zaboomafu and stuff like that. I guess I liked a lot of animals um, when I was younger, but I, I still do. It's kind of cool. You know, it's neat, like uh, Nat Geo and stuff like that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm getting off topic here, but um, here we've got Steve Irwin here with the snake. Really, really cool figure. I'm, I'm so glad that they're making a bunch of Steve Irwin ones because this is now his third one because there's Steve. Well, I guess it's the one, but it has a chase. So it's Steve Irwin with crocodile, then with turtle or tortoise, and then this one here with snake. So it's really cool that they made a third one. Um, I'm a big fan of it, like I had mentioned, and I'm glad that I could get this one. Okay, guys, now, for this last one here, this is, like I mentioned, an ad icon for the set. Um, at least, if this is what I think it is. I'm not exactly sure, but I checked the dates around the time um, with the, uh, the tracking and stuff like that, and it should be the ad icon that I'm thinking of. And I ordered two of this one, just in case we wanted to do a giveaway with it or I wanted to throw it into the 200k giveaway. Um, I don't know yet, but uh, that could be a possibility. So, let's see what it is. 
Yeah, this is the one. Okay, cool. So here it is right here, guys. This is the Wally Warheads right here. So this one here, I actually haven't seen in person yet. I'm, I'm checking it out first before you guys do. Um, but here it is right there, guys. Wally Warheads. So like I said, I picked up two of these. I think he's still on the Funko Shop if you want to get them. But uh, still, I mean, if you're going to get them this way out of a giveaway, it'd be a cool way to do it. I mean, I, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to throw it in the 200k giveaway, but I might. I might. Um, so anyways, yeah, he's a really cool one. One thing that I want to point out, actually, I'm going to take him out to see this, because it's got the Warheads logo above it, which is weird. So this is how he technically looks on the box, right? So if you guys can see on the back there, that's what the packaging looks like. And then this is kind of what the popified version looks like there with the Warheads logo over the top, which is pretty much exactly the same. I think if they didn't add the Warheads logo up top there, it would have been kind of weird. Like you probably wouldn't have known who it was, um, but it's still overall a really, really great character. Um, I know some people didn't like it, but I've been wanting this one for a little while now. Ever since I saw like possibilities of it coming, I've been wanting to get this one. So I'm glad they finally made it. But there is that one right there. Now let's check out this last one here because this is the same one, um, just the Warhead one again. So let's just make sure the box is okay and stuff like that. I hope it is. It looks pretty decent actually. Let me check it. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, guys, so I'm looking at this here, and the box looks pretty good. Both of them actually look really great. I know Funko's really stepped up their shipping recently um, with Pops and stuff like that off the Funko shop. They've always had great shipping, um, but I feel like I've been getting better and better shipping every single time I order one. So this one here, they were both in the stacks here, or sorters, and then they also had bubble wrap around them, which is amazing. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that. So anyways, guys, there it is right there. Um, and like I've said, or I've teased a couple times now, this could be going into the giveaway. I'm not sure yet, but it'll probably be going in. Oh, Oh, and also on the topic of the 200k giveaway, I do want to mention that it's not going to be shipped out probably anytime soon because I can't go to the post office. So anyways, if um, we do finally get to be able to go to the post office, I will ship it out as quick as possible and pick a winner as well. I want to wait because what I'm doing right now is slowly, like this one here, adding cooler figures to this box instead of just putting ones that I've had in the collection for a while. I mean, I figured somebody would like this better than some random one that I've got, you know, sitting in the back. So I've slowly been picking up better ones for this box because I want to make it something pretty special because it is 200k. Right, guys now this last box here I actually brought some safety precautions for this one and this is what you guys should do too if you guys get packages in the mail say from Funko and stuff like that because you don't know where the boxes have been and with the virus going around you want to make sure that everything's safe so I grabbed whatever I could find um, to see what we got here so I'm gonna couple things here so that way I don't get sick anyways point is uh, my mom's been making masks and they're actually turning out pretty good um, this is the manliest one I could find we got dogs with uh, um, a bow ties here. I've actually haven't worn a mask to be honest this whole time, but uh, I will say it's not too shabby They do feel pretty good. These ones here are just cloth or whatever But uh, I would say it would keep the germs out and at least for me touching my face That's what I'm kind of going for here now The other thing that I've got is one more thing here. I well here's the thing I don't have surgical gloves or anything like that, but I do have these rubber gloves here so we're gonna go with these today and uh, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I don't think I have to do this, but it's one of those just in case moments because you never know. Hold on. Honestly, guys, if the virus is on there, you wouldn't want me to get it. So anyways, now I can finally touch the box. Okay, so let's see this here. So this right here is from Grant, Rob, and Audrey. Um, they are super nice. They live near the Funko HQ, and um, they were nice enough to pick this up a little while ago um, when we were supposed to go down to um, Everett, Washington. Hold on. We were supposed to go down to Everett, Washington um, for Emerald City Comic Con and Seattle, the Seattle area anyways. Um, we were just going to you know, pick this up from them. They weren't going to ship it. But they were nice enough to ship this over because there's some pretty cool stuff in there that they've slowly been picking up from the HQ um, for my collection. And I think some of Noah's collection, maybe my mom as well. Um, so we're going to check this out here, guys. See what's inside. Um, I know some of the stuff, but I don't remember all of it because it's been kind of like over the course of a couple months now they've been picking it up for me. So let's see what we've got in here. Okay guys, I remember what's inside here now. There's a couple really cool things here that I want to show off. So let's show you this first. So because of this right here, so I'm making it look like it's like a, like a, like a, I don't know, evidence for some crime scene or something like that. But these right here are buttons that Funko had. It's missing my nose now, but I don't want to touch my face. Well, I can, actually, I can, whatever. You could get these. They'd give them to you. So they got some extra ones. And uh, here they are. I'm only going to show you two of them because I think they're both the same. But, um... So we have this one right here, which is I'm a fan of the green troll, which is pretty cool So there's that one right there. That's a cool one. My mom's gonna like that one for sure And then the other one they grabbed for me, which is a glow-in-the-dark pin 
and it's I'm a fan of Nessie. So that is the um, Loch Ness Monster right there, which I think looks really, really great. That pin is the only one I believe they've done for the Pop Myths line. They might have done Bigfoot as well one time. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but for sure, that one's one, and it's amazing. I love that thing. It's glow in the dark, so, you know, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. But so, so we have that one there. Like I mentioned, we also have, oh, there is a different one. Hold on one second. Okay, this mask is bugging me. Anyways, guys, point is, be safe with your packages. I, I don't like wearing the mask when I'm talking because it keeps falling, but I will wear the gloves still. I'm not touching my face anyway, so here it is right here, guys. This is the troll one. So the green troll one's in here still, so I just showed that one off. But let's also show off this one right here, which is the rainbow troll. Um, and that right there looks really, really great. Um, so yeah, they, they made two of them, I believe. That's all they made, I think, was the two trolls. Um, so it's really cool that we could get those ones because unless we went there, we weren't gonna be able to get them. So that was really awesome that they grabbed them for me. So this first one here is one for my mom. Now this right here, if I'm not mistaken, okay, yeah, so this is the one that I ordered in my Funko Lottery Bundle, but I also, we wanted to get one for my mom because she um, is a big fan of these ones. You guys probably know what it is by the pins, um, but this is the green troll here. So this one's a really, really great one. The hair is crazy on this thing. The box is in great condition. Um, but there it is right there, guys. A really, really great figure. Um, I am loving the Trolls ones. I think I have every single one now with this green troll. I mean, they are making two more for WonderCon, which is the rainbow with blue hair and rainbow with pink hair. So I'm gonna have to get those ones as well. Those ones will be coming out, I believe, the 12th of April, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not exactly sure when they do, but they are coming out uh, next month, so that's exciting. Now, I got two more things in here. This was it. Well, this is all I needed for my Futura set, and then I had all of them. Um, so these two right here are really, really great figures. Let's start with this one here. Um, this one is the Darth Vader Futura figure. Um, now they do come in the um, shrink wrap as well as the pop stack. So that's really nice that they're keeping them in good condition here, especially because they're supposed to be like a higher end collectible, uh, a little bit more expensive than actual uh, normal pops because this is done by the artist Futura. Um, if you guys didn't know, he designed the art for all of the figures, but they, you know, they did the normal sculpts, just different art. And then the other one here is this right here. We've got the Boba Fett, um, which is a really, really great one as well. It looks like paint splotches all over him, kind of like a pixelated kind of, um, like a pixelated camo almost. Um, and this was the first one to ever come out, the normal three inch size. And I never could get this one. So it's really cool um, that the Funko shop got in a couple of them or Funko HQ got very few of them in, um, but they were really nice enough to pick one up for me and ship it over. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow and stay safe.